Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Liam. Doing another tutorial. I just wanted to show you guys how to uh, install server mods. And for this example, I will be using Guildcraft. As you see, I've made a folder on my desktop. I recommend other people do it too. So, let's get started. Simple enough, the first thing you need is the Minecraft server jar. You can grab this by going to the Minecraft.net website and clicking on the download underneath the picture. Besides single player, I think that's what it's called, or something. Alright, so you can click on that. I'm just open that new tab and it's going to install on I'm gonna put it where is it? Alright, I will put it in that folder. Right there. Okay. So that's that part's done. And then you're gonna grab yourself the build craft. So the easiest way to find those is just looking up build craft. And you need this copy. You don't want this. Basically what SSP stands for is single single survival player. Or is it survival single player? Yeah, that's what, that sounds more like it. So survival single player and survival multiplayer, you need this one. So you're going to click on that. It's going to open up this like Dropbox page. And if for client, I, I will just like skip through that since I'm pretty sure I've already made a bunch of tutorials on how to install clients. If you really want me to show you how to install the client, I'll make a new video. But simple enough, it's like dragging it in the folder and all that. So I'm just going to take this. Oh, shit. Okay, these these are gonna be so basically right click open and link a new tab. That's pretty much what I do with this shit because Adfly is a bitch, and that's probably what the hell. What's going on? Uh, people double ad flying things is just not cool. So you can wait for this stupid shit to happen. Alright. Alrighty. And almost done. Alright, once you're done that, you're going to go into this folder. And you're going to see all these. I don't know why he split them up into these. I really actually don't. I wish he would have just put it in one entire zip, but nobody gets what they asked for. One moment, please. Okay. So. Let's take these, and we're going to open up this Minecraft jar. So if you don't have WinZip, 7-Zip, any of that stuff, you're going to go to the webpage. Go to winrar.com, and just download the WinRar free copy. I'm not going to guide you through that, but I assume you know what you're doing, and you could just use the Google. Google is your friend. Don't worry. Um, I'm pretty sure if I hit Alt-Enter while holding all these, I oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, control enter opens them all up at once and I'm pretty sure you have to install them in order right now my mouse is flickering and it's actually starting to bug me okay Oof, okay so let's get this done just drag them in build craft I don't think you need mod loader MP for this anymore um, I should be describing what I'm doing right now. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm just I open them up, and I'm copying and dragging them in in order. So as you can see, the order is looks like core builders, energy factory, then transport, and you're gonna just place that in the jar in that order. Bam. Okay. Simple enough. I don't think you can run the jar just by double clicking it. I think you actually have to make a bat file, but I will test that. Um. Oh, guess not. So it has started the server. And I think it works just fine. It hasn't actually told me anything. Let me just check if it actually needs mod loader. The previous release went straight up, however. Um, it really doesn't tell me if it's for the server or not. It doesn't seem to be giving me a problem. So, uh, I guess I'll just test and see if Buildcraft works at all. And I'll let you guys know when I'm done.
Oh yeah, guys, I forgot to mention, you need to add uh, the forge. Mo it's called Minecraft Forge. I was looking for the deep ano anal glands of the Buildcraft website, and then I finally found it. Well, actually, I didn't have to look that far. I just didn't realize it was for server, because his instructions are kind of, um, I don't know how to put it, but I would say bland. It doesn't actually tell you that Forge is intended for server also. I didn't actually know that. I forgot, because I haven't used this mod in so long. I mean, this mod is awesome, but like, huh, okay, and uh, so you should be able to join, no problem, unless you've done something wrong with the client, in that case, you're fucked, so, let's look at my inventory, alright, so I, from a previous video, which was not, which was just lately, I showed you how to install Plans Play Mod, it's still here, alright, and look, there's the buildcraft block. Uh, this is super laggy, I can already tell for the uh, capture, but simple enough, this mod's easy. If you guys want me to do a mod spotlight, how I actually use this mod, I've made pretty cool stuff of it, like really cool stuff. And if you guys want to play with me, just let me know. If you guys want to join my 24 hour server, I'll like put it up in the link in the description. I have a 24 hour server that people can play on with me and you know, have some fun. I'm thinking about showing you guys and doing a mod spotlight on hack and slash mine. It's a great mod and all. I just have to. I'm pretty small, so I think if I made a tutorial or something on it, the guy might not like that. Since it's not really like a big thing yet, and he might want to do t tutorial on it or something. So I won't like get in his way, but I'll ask him and see if he w see if he'll let me do like a mod spotlight on this mod. And then if he says yes, I'll do it. And I will show you guys the new Hack and Slash. It's a great game. It's like an MMORPG. You do a bunch of cool stuff. You're able to like rank up and become a mage, ranger, or, or just like a straight up warrior. So you can like Hack and Slash and all that. Fuck you, Archer. Fuck you. So I'm gonna end my video right here. I installed Billcraft. It works. If you guys want to know how to do the client, simple enough. Get yourself a copy of this. MC Patcher, right here, and um, basically get Mod Loader, get Mod Loader MP, get M Minecraft Forge in that order, and then uh, just install all the other stuff in it. The end. All right, bye. Hey, if you want to see videos re related to this one or like this one, uh, I don't know, just leave a comment. Like, if you'd like me to do any other tutorials, let me know. I'll pretty much do anything. It uh, anything like uh, if I have free time I will do it and help you guys out hope this helped everyone with their needs in server modding and um, I just want to thank you guys for watching hey I want to thank all my subscribers oh, I think I want to say I actually have a hundred and thirty nine now how much do I have? 138 okay maybe it can be 139 after this video I don't know I've been recently semi successful with my Flens Blade mod getting like almost 10,000 views on my latest one and my last one was like 23,000 thanks a lot guys I really appreciate it I didn't really think this would take off at all I didn't think like I would get any sort of support I didn't think I'd be any what somewhat popular but thanks for that thanks